weakness that they've had in the group stage. And obviously, the best of five, you know it's going to come out. This is going to be a map they had to have looked at closely and come up with a plan to avert those issues. Started off fast toward the ramp. Zywoo with the duelies. Man, oh man, what a night it's been for the duelies. He's forced off by flames, goes back down the lane, but not too far away. He wants to actually use this sound as a bit of a bait because he can mask his footsteps a bit with the noise of the fire. It's a liege that gets in position first. He's gone, removed. Zywoo's not done there. Tries to back it off, doesn't matter. Nap and OC opening it up. Apex did damage, but not a kill on the nap. But when he goes back around the corner with a self flash, he not only finds a kill, he's got a second and he's caused for the rotations. He finds three. Hemet just will close out the round. It's going to be Vitality to start it off. What an incredible sequence from Apex. That's disgusting. Yeah, fists in the air, baby. They wanted that hug. He's going to get it after a pistol round like that. Absolutely magnificent. A one man army. Stops the entire hit. Pretty spectacular considering that they found the openers on it. Both of them. They found two. He might have caught the first player off guard as he's the third man they didn't expect to be there, but the other two is just straight up Apex being a boss. Second round live and without access to the bomb site, Liquid back, back off to unarmored pistols. A single P250 on NAF. And all Glocks. Absolutely. Liege waiting as well behind that smoke. It's Zywoo that's going to push down MP9. Dupuri has to be somewhat careful in that position because his feet show first, but he wants the headshot angle looking downward. Molotov instead, though. Nitro's forced up a little further. It won't spread upward. Oh, I say that. It is now. Oh, 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 oh. That's awkward. Hot potato. Whoop. Still gonna run boost Yakinder across, and the secondary boost, I love that one. Throw OC, OC all the way around the outside of the map. Hoping to catch someone, but it wasn't there. But a little bit of circus tricks to try and find an opening kill with weak weapons. Yeah, it's not gonna get much with just Glocks. No, I think that's that's the gambit, right? That's the cheese that they try to bring out and, and, and try and find an opportunity. Now it's kind of like, okay guys, where do we want to go die? Well, mid seems to have that name written all over it, but just with his MP9 and two weak players could easily mow them down without the armor, with just the Glocks. He could even ace on this, potentially. He's gonna go down after three. OC actually kills Yakinder, so... Gets a team kill. That's not gonna help money situations early on, but it's Dupree that's gonna double up, and now the SMG is finding five. Let's prevent an extra kill of bonus money going over to Magus, so maybe it's a... Uh, that's you know, fair. 500 yep. IQ play to TK there. It's, uh, who was it? Fnatic back in the day that used to jump in the Molotov? Yeah, that caught that, that was a trend for a little bit. See them all time on the ground. Everyone just go into it and die so you don't give the money over to the SMGs. It's fallen out of favor. It has, yep. I mean, the economy's changed a lot since then. That sure. was back in the old system. Absolutely. Well, 2 nothing. Guns are out. 5 AK-47s across the board for Team Liquid. Three SMGs and two M4s for Vitality's defense. Smokes down at the ramp. Kinder looking for a shot on the AK. He's not going to get it right away. He doesn't have that option. I'm going to bounce the nades down over top of the wall. But this is a counter. So if they're not going to play aggressively toward the ramp, if they're going to just use utility to slow them down, this push, three-man push at that, is going to be problematic. And they can turn back on this. They can still rotate up the ladder. They can still oh. flank it. But just doesn't need the help right now, though. He's got two and OC. Oh, yeah, look at this. L limited, but they find the bomb. This this one's over. Call this one to Vitality. It's going to be 3 nothing. He's going to go for the double kill, Sphinx. He's got all the time in the world, and he knows it. Go for the close one first. Transfer over to Yakinder. Good double kill from Sphinx. Free upgrade to the AK-47. And this half cannot start, wor start worse for Team Liquid. No, this is brutal. Giving away the guns, the bonus round as well for Vitality. No map control, one kill only. Now, if you think back, let's let's go back to the Mirage game that we casted just two maps ago. Map number three in the, in the Grand Finals. The Vitality defense, the philosophy was get up in their face. Disrupt everything they want to do. Be aggressive. Don't give them space to work with. This round is just SMGs, but I'm wondering if Vitality's like, okay, there's a little bit of a weakness here on Vertigo. We know they're going to have to have come up with a few things. It's not going to be picture perfect for Team Liquid. They're not ultra comfortable on it. If we can introduce that chaos and introduce that stress early on, it's going to make our life easier down the stretch. So we'll see if it continues with some of those mid-round pushes from Sphinx that we just saw now that the M4s are out, but Team Liquid's gonna have to go down in armor and upgraded pistols, mostly Tech 9s. Sphinx already fast toward mid, has put a Molotov out that will delay the play from Yekinder, uh -oh. who wants to be the Lurk. Nade's gonna go out, it's gonna come back in and nail Nitro this time, no armor. Apex able to find a lead. Shame's part that he started off the pistol. Remember that pistol as well, because if Apex doesn't step up in that situation, Liquid could be very easily in that 3-0 lead with the money, but this is a slaughter again. All onto Yekinder. He was the only one not over toward the A ramp. 
and he'll look to try and find a single kill, maybe pick up a gun in this, but with a minute and 24, that's a long, long time away. Yeah, he's hoping to catch Dupree off guard on a rotation. Timing was it with him. Would have been a tough battle regardless. Tech nine salvage for Dupree, and it's four to nothing for Vitality. Yeah, massive start. And Liquid will buy up the right end. Is Nitro not going to, yeah, I was going to say it's not worth it. Don't go. You need the utility more than the AWP on the T side. Tough to start out T side on Vertigo as well when they're not as comfortable on the map. Look at how aggressive they're still being. It's Majisk again. You go all the way back to map two of this series. It was Majisk on Dust 2 that started countering off the Kinder. That started to get aggressive in his face, and he's going to continue it now onto Vertigo. Bounce. Apex as well. Gonna push behind his bounce smoke. Alige. Oh, stuck behind it. They can't do anything in response. Iwu's got two, and Apex cleans up the third. Yekinder almost taken down, but he does find the trade. It's a three on two and just low HP. This is gonna be so tough. Super tough. Rotation's coming into the A-bomb site as well. Naf's all the way on the other side of the map, so they can't really work together. Yeah, the hero of overpass for Liquid and still not enough to get them across the line. Kinder needs a perfect headshot from this position if he has any chance at all of opening this up for his teammate. He's gonna start to clear over toward yellow. There's no way. Look, all three players are here. All three players from Vitality have shifted over. These were the reads they were getting on overpass as well. They always kind of had a sense of what was coming. Sphinx, gonna turn the corner. Easy headshot, easy double kill. Five to nothing, a very convincing five to nothing. Liquid needs to slow this down early. They need to get back into this because we know that they had a chance to close this on overpass. Yes, it was a long game. Yes, it's a long series, but this is not the way you can start. It's demoralizing. Vertigo's not been their best map, in my opinion. Certainly not on T-Sides. We know T-Sides were a huge issue for them in the group stage when they barely made it through. No, I mean, Liquid lost this map to Furious 16-14 in the group stage. They lost this map to Eternal Fire 16-13 in the group stage as well. The only one they have from, from ESL Pro League is Mobby Star Riders. 16-4 to Fury, not 16-14. Oh, excuse me, yeah. I, uh, I got way ahead of myself, and, well, Vitality is way ahead of Team Liquid. It's gonna be six to nothing. Yeah, this, absolute beatdown. Yeah, this is brutal. They're, they're just absolutely running the map on them right now. Liquid have to come up, with, come up with a way to counter this. Well, let's just rattle off some of the wins that Vitality have on this map at Pro League as well. 16-10 victory over Spirit. 16-8 over NIP. 16-12 over Endpoint. Yeah, lurking it out then. Galil. Minute and 10, small map. Not easy to save on, so see if he can find anything and open up a potential AK, do some economic damage at this point. That's the other aspect of this. How many kills have we got so far for Liquid? Seven kills for Team Liquid so far in these first six rounds. Now, if he finds anything, it would be eight. But I mean, I was about to bring that point up after this round's end is, is the money has just ballooned so far for Vitality. So right out of the gate, you're playing at a severe disadvantage for Team Liquid where there's no reprieve in these buys until you rattle off like three rounds in a row. And it's not even, it's looking extremely difficult to just get to one. So, I mean, I don't know if we're going to time out from Team Liquid after this round or perhaps the next one when they come in with their next buy, but they're going to have to talk things over and, and readjust some of the some of the mindset. Contact, Saibu getting the kill. Clean and easy for him, fifth on total. It's Magist that has nine. Apex has seven. As you say, Liquid total is seven. So those two players alone out fragging all of the North American squad. And uh, there's, there's got to be a lot of confidence in Vitality now all of a sudden at this point. I mean, you've shut down when they've gone mid, you've shut down extremely well when they've gone A. Amazing stuff for Vitality. First time out taken from Team Liquid, so we are going to get... And keep in mind, with four overtimes that we played, <laughs> that's basically another map of overtimes that have been played in this series. This has been grueling. Grand Finals started at, what, 5 p.m. was the start time for this match. We're approaching midnight here in Malta. It's 11.46. Crazy. Six hours and 45 minutes of play so far of high pressure, high intensity, full focus Counter-Strike. Naf with a quick shoulder check is obligated with middle. Not as aggressive from Vitality in this round. They know the economic situation. Also on the back of a timeout, you're going to expect some changes. 
Incendiary not going to be thrown. Nav's got the opener finally for Liquid, something to work with, but it's a shooting gallery, and Zywu just guessing inside of the smoke is able to take the head off of a liege. He'll fall back and try and delay even further, but they're forward of the Incendiary. The timing might work, not if they line up and give the spray to Zywu instead. Is he tucks in, he spots Nitro over at yellow, and that's going to give the information Apex needs to just push forward and know that he has the confidence in a one-on-one -on -one down below when he takes that against Nav. 7-0 start for Vitality and still only one kill. Despite that it was the opening kill in that round, it's all they get. You got to be you got to be so impressed by by Zaiwu in this series. He is he's he might be just the only like just what a massive beast to have in a grand finals deliver and show up in this sense. What an absolute resurgence to form as well for him because the first half of this year, part of the online era, he went, remember, consecutive back-to-back -back number one player in the yeah, world. Yeah, world number ones. And then he almost went missing, and suddenly he's back, and Spinks there with him. Bit of change in the mentality, perhaps, on the team. You mentioned 118 kills in this in the four maps coming into this final map. That is 21 frags above the next closest player between both teams. That's crazy. He's just been a monster. He hasn't even got the op out yet. He hasn't even reached his final form. For Team Liquid right now, it's from overtime to obliteration. They could have won this on over, excuse me, on, yeah, overpass. As Magist pushes forward, they've got a long way to dig out of this one. And look at the aggression again. Magist, oh, that smoke fading, and Lee's gonna find one. They swing, Magist still doubles up, and Zywu, top of the ramp. He can delay this, and there's so much damage off of Elise. He's forced back and out of the corner. He has to be so careful in that situation not to get a counter peek. It's Naf that needs to lurk for Liquid. Found the kill with a Deagle last round here, but the AK instead, fortunately, it's trying to compensate and recover the round. He's looked away at the wrong time. I was gonna pop out and find him. Yeah, he had the read too. You could see him considering it. That would have been a phenomenal kill to find because Elysian Yukinder would have just transferred right back to the A bomb site with a free avenue up, and now they've got to do it anyways, knowing there's gonna be a defender somewhere. Zaiwu, 10 and two. Sphinx playing between both players, Dupree holding down the fort at the B bomb site. He has yet to really be challenged in any significant way in this series. He's got zero deaths. That's a good point. This is still winnable with two Molotovs. First one's gonna go now. Second smoke, Zaiwu gets forward of it. Again, this guy just shuts out Liquid every chance he gets. He can't try to plant, they're gonna jump through. He finds the one on Sphinx, three seconds though, time's gone. And he might even go down after the time if he's not careful. Good find on Zaiwu as a result of that. And it's gonna keep him alive, but it's eight to nothing for Vitality. Yeah, and everyone, I mean, Zaiwu's got 16K. He has to rebuy, so it's gonna get chunked down, but he's, he's so rich. Every player from Vitality before investing into this round was over $10,000. Liquid. Team Vitality side right now. Yep. The top fragger is Yakinder for Team Liquid. Four frags. Two of those just came in, in, in a lost round in a losing effort that were zero impact kills. I'm gonna try to go B this time. We haven't seen a hit on B yet. 11 total kills for Team Liquid across all five players. There's two players on Vitality with 11 that are matching the entire team of Team Liquid. Deep incendiary. Doesn't go past the edge of the ramp though, so they'll stay down behind the box. Nothing from Ekinder yet over toward B. He's still trying to bait out some shots in reaction Apex. Once more. Ooh, I think his gun barrel was spotted when he went for that reload, so his fires back actually hits Nitro, who is yet to find a kill in this game. Not gone yet. They can still make something of this half, but it has to start now. And Apex on one HP finds a kill on a Nitro, and he'll run down the lane to get away with Zaiwu ready to support him by delaying them on utility. At least they'll already forward of that. Okay. Naf, that's mid. Yep, that's the second time he's won that fight against Sphinx. Naf still providing some individual effort to keep them in this. Brought into a four on four, and with Apex low, there might be an opportunity. Very light on utility, though. Two smokes and two flashbangs for Team Liquid. They're all going to have to be used to get into this bomb site, and they've got to wait for Naf to get over here, because that's a must have smoke. Ooh, yeah, Kinder. Every opportunity, he dropped up on top of the bags to see past the smoke, and he saw the transition, couldn't oh. get it, but they've got Naf on the Apex. That starts the flank. OC has Zaiwu down, and it's a three on two, 13 seconds. Bomb needs to get in position, but just, he's already making it awkward. Yekinder's gone. Naf with the follow-up. He steps up again when needed. He's got three kills in this round. It's just Dupree. He has not died yet in this half, in this game. 
but he only has three kills to his name. He needs two more, and that bomb continuing to tick. He knows they have the money, so it's less so about even trying to do economic damage. He can just straight up go for this. Got a smoke. Tries to bait it out, taps the first one, shots through. They know they landed, and they know he's not on it as a result of that. He tries to counter this by going around. Now he'll try and get on and hold it, but he's lost track of it himself. And he's even walked out of the smoke, but thankfully they don't see him. Naf will close out the round four kills. Yeah, and you'll take whatever you can get if you're Team Liquid, because one of those four kills is the player is Apex inside the bomb site. They needed to get that kill. It's an impact kill from the smoke grenade. It's a smoke grenade thrown that just tags him on the bounce, and that's the damage done right here. When was the last time you saw a smoke kill in a grand final? That's a great question. <laughs> that's amazing. That's, I am so in love with that. That's a crappy way to go down if you're Apex, but all right. There's your gift, Team Liquid. It's nothing special, nothing to be super excited about, but you got your first round on the board, and that's always the hardest. Let's see what you can get after the fact. Nap has delivered a quad kill to get you started, but now you got to deal with Zaiwu's off. I don't know why you swing that with the MAC-10. That's so such a good lineup to go toward yellow, and he just commits to a long fight, gets taken down. Sure, it's information. At least OC is able to trade back onto Apex. Flash out, OC still sat behind that. No one contesting scaffolding right now. I mean, at this point, when you're down 1-8 and it's been such a catastrophe the way it's been for Team Liquid, I think you just got to be happy with the one-for-one -one trade that gets you a ramp control that at least forces back the defense so they can't have the information. And you got over a minute with which to play with the map. Oh, that is a dorky little angle around that smoke. It's one way to put it. Dupree's definitely got that figured out if they go back, but that smoke has a timer on it and they're not going to be there beforehand. Imagine getting killed by that angle. Oh, you'd be tilted off the face of the earth. 45 seconds remaining. And here's Spinks again in the mid-round, finding his timing to be aggressive. Not hearing any presence. He's probably pretty happy that Naf's not there to challenge him. But he's going to have a fast flank around this hit. And if there's any resistance, all three defenders oh, maybe. are here. Spinks, man, the timing on this. They know they just have to stop it. Zaiwu has the health that Apex didn't. Body blocks that smoke as best he can. Late in the gap, he goes through with Nitro lineup. Oh, Dupree gets the same. One for you, two for me. He pulls it back. It's Naf on a one on two. Smoke's going to miss it over as he tries to flash through it. He gets the bomb recovered, but 11 seconds, and Spinks is already hot on his heels and already boosted up. Dupree slides out. It's 9-1. And they never even they never even had to show Spinks' his flank. They never even had to show that Spinks actually made the mid-round move to go down ladder. Huge win. Full losing bonus for Team Liquid, but they really need those plants if they want to keep having complete full buys moving forward. Majisk has been fantastic in this series. So is Dupree. What a great double to find. Even finds the third at the end. So Team Liquid stagger the investments. They know they need to chip away at this economy. They know the only way back into this game is to deplete the, fun to deplete the funds of Vitality. So they have to pick up two AKs. And there's a timing. Dupree caught snoozing, trying to transition into a new position. Opening kill, traded back by Zaiwu. But they need this. They need this round. 132nd kill in this series for Zaiwu. If I'm not mistaken, he has now set the record for most kills in a series. I'll get that confirmed, but... That's eight a, outs. Okay. That's, that's pretty banging. That's outrageous. Yeah, that's true. Shot, Majisk takes out OC. Now the advantage, advantage back to Vitality as they look for double digits already. Half and you can do though. Those have been the hot hands if anyone can claim that so far for Liquid on this map. And it's Naf that's going to try and do what he can to f spot out Majisk. We've not seen a lot of action at B. Majisk, backside of the double, pulling back at quad, can easily get a spot on this. I don't think he did, but he will this time. He goes wide. Naf, great shot. A chance to walk in, but he needs to cut off rotations before his teammate arrived. And unfortunately for him, they've already gotten in position with Zaiwu. Smoke down. That'll give away that he's close. There's no flash either to really activate Naf. He's got to be really scared about turning this corner. Now, Zaiwu is very nervous about middle as well. He backed all the way to the site. That's why he deployed the smoke to buy time in doing so. And Apex is getting ever closer. I was going to confirm mid's fully clear on this. And with that, Apex starts his journey back toward his teammate. Bomb has been planted. Naf getting slightly further forward. The HP absolutely in favor of the M4 right now for Apex. Naf's going to have to be absolutely perfect. Molotov deep. 
They expect the close corner. Surely they swing on this with a double. They go. It's going to be the first for half. Followed up, and the Kinders actually got Zaiwu instead. So a second round for Liquid. Ooh, that's that's Zaiwu delivering. The entry kills to get into the B bomb site. Naf following things up. A little bit of life left in Team Liquid. And that's a phenomenal result after a round where they only bring two AK 47s into it with that staggered buy. They can pass the op over to OC. And now money becomes an issue for Vitality. They've got another buy. But there's money enough on Sphinx and Apex. And with this kind of a lead, I think Vitality shifts into a different mindset where if there's a round where they feel beat. They can save, and as the losing bonus is starting to build up, they can invest in some weapons around saved guns. So they've got options to play with. Liquid, not so much. They've got to carve out some breathing room for the second half. But it's Naf and Yukinder really providing everything for Team Liquid. He's going to start probing in middle. It's Dupree this time, not Sphinx. And Dupree gives it up. Four defenders at the top of a ramp. Vitality is convinced Liquid at least is going to challenge here to maintain presence, to show presence. And they're right. Well, it's all from Elige. That reveals that they're close. Magist takes advantage of it, and he's got support system from Zywu. And not only that, a touchdown pass from Magist. That is such a powerful peak. They waited it. They baited it. And as soon as they saw the utility, they swarmed Liquid on the ramp. It's down to an half and a one on four. You, uh, you know, I'm going to want to find out after this series, but you got to, we got to mention the game planning, and, and you talk about Zonic being behind this team, one of the, the probably the greatest coach we've had in Counter Strike. The game plan for Vitality on all these maps seems so solid. This is such a perfectly laid trap. Four players there that don't budge, that are convinced something is going to happen. They have a boost up even to pick a player off, but as soon as they sense Liquid moving to line up to go for anything, as soon as they see that Molotov come out towards Sandbags, the trap is sprung, and they attack, they pounce. And it's an awkward timing, awkward positions for Liquid where nobody can scramble into safety in time to not get slaughtered. And it is, I think this is the slaughter, man. This is, this is a... In a smoothie, they're getting blended up so hard right now. Yakinder trying to see through the smoke. Not even he can save them so far. Seven kills for him. Nade down. He'll take damage from this, but even without a lot of pressure toward B, Jason, these guys are still getting forward on the stairs position. Vitality's not saying static and resting on it. They're, they're changing the look every single round. Yeah, denying all space, denying all breathing room over to Team Liquid on this on this T side on this offensive half. Another Molotov is going to go down. That's going to disjoint the hit. Actually, it prevents OC from moving forward entirely. Same with the Liege. Well, that utility from Liquid goes to waste. OC going to start challenging now, but Sphinx and Dupree have gotten into safer positions. And they've got two smokes still. They can stall this out massively. Dupree spamming the wood, trying to pretend that he's the only one there, trying to let Sphinx go silently. And he spotted as well. They wrap around. There you go. Sphinx straight to the face. He can do nap down the follow up. Nitro. Tech 9 Elise on to Dupree. Chance at this now as they have the man advantage. Smokes and flashes everywhere inside of the site, though. And the bomb not yet in position, but it may not matter. Elise, lovely shot on the Apex. And it's all on to Zywu, but Zywu has 16 kills so far in this game, and he might look for three more. It's so important that Team Liquid's able to crack into this B bomb site because that, that might be the only thing that alleviates some of the pressure at A ramp. Good kill from Zaiwu, but it's just a fluff kill. He's not actually going for the round. Look at the money. That's yeah. that's just it. Suddenly they have worn them down. Sure, Vitality has such a good start that the last few rounds from Liquid, they could have had this situation much, much sooner in terms of breaking the economy. So they can still find this maybe at 10-5. The next round's gonna be tight for Vitality, so maybe a third at the very least. But even then, I'm not sure I'm convinced with some of the takes and positional control that Vitality's had. Well, uh, it'll, it'll certainly get easier. As you mentioned, money being tight means some things are gonna be missing, obviously. No ADVP on Zywu, some utility's gonna be missing. I think a rifle, at least one rifle, might be missing from Vitality's defense when they buy up into this round. But also the fact that Vitality now has to respect the fact that Team Liquid's been able to crack into the B-bomb site twice. This is just great trading. Yukinder goes first. Naf is able to grab a kill, I believe, over in middle. And Elish provides some powerful trades coming into the bomb site. There's that smile. 10 to 3. SMG on Sphinx with no nades. Famas on Apex. Liquid so, win this round despite everything. It, it can be 10 5. So the previous record of 130 kills was set by Cold Zera in the SKVP final at Epicenter in 2017. Zywu has broken that in this series. This is a new all time series high frag total. Yeah, record setting grand final for Zywu. 
Wonderful little accolade, but it won't matter if he can't win the trophy. Well, right now they've got one hand on it with a lead of 10 to three. Have you know not to touch that trophy before you win it? Tell that to the Detroit Red Wings. Apex backs away this time, so they don't have as much control positionally, even though they have the opening kill. They still have them where they want them because they can take these fights, and Zaiwu's gonna delay things with an incendiary. He's even gonna peek behind his own flames. He knows he can just stuck in the corner. Somehow the timing of it allows him by, though, but his preoccupation is to his demise. Nitro's able to slide up, and Jist wants to compensate with the smokes miss. Huge gap. How does Nitro not turn for that? He's turning from flashbangs the whole time. OC's gonna pick up the pieces. Important double kill. Important double kill. And Spinks has to try and delay this as much as humanly possible. Dupree is coming in on the flank, and that might be the last point of danger for Team Liquid. Oh, does he call it off? Yeah, I think they, they do. They only yeah. have $100 residual right now on the two remaining players. Oh, my lord. Team Liquid's got a fourth. They finally crack into the A bomb site. OC stepping up, providing a critical double kill. Team Liquid carving out enough rounds. This was a horrendous start. It was eight to nothing before Liquid could get their first round on the board. But they're giving themselves a chance. And remember back to Mirage, a four to 11 first half that they come back to win in triple overtime. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. We've seen this scoreline already once on Mirage in this series, so it's not out of the realms of possibility. The reason I wasn't convinced is because the first opening rounds, we were talking about it, the kill totals weren't yeah, there, the no trades, the dragging. money was up there. Now it seems Liquid have come up with an adjustment that's working in their favor. And sometimes this will benefit you if you play the harder side first, you know what job you have in front of you in the second half. And that, that, that helps in two reasons. One, not only mentally, but you know how much you need to invest. If you're gonna go for bonus rounds, if you just wanna get rounds on the board, what weapons you're using at the whole time. So they're not gone out of this, this game just yet. Yeah, that being said, I'm not sure Liquid really feel like they have, they have an easy side on this map. They struggled on the CT side. They struggled defensively and offensively in Pro League on Vertigo. So I don't think you'll feel comfortable with anything switching over to the next half. Dupree inside of B again, sees flames thrown his direction. They're trying to change the look and go for a boost to put Yakinder up. He's alone. He's gonna keep his head down. Dupree's already got this checked and covered. He read that perfectly. He's now forced out by flames, but he backs off to quad rather than fights forward and they won't get a chance to take him down. And his own Molotov prevents them from chasing it. Naf again in middle, looking to deliver an equalizing kill. Oh, he gets Dupree back though. And Zaiwu taking quite a bit of damage as he comes back inside of the site. So Nitro, a chance maybe to punish him on that. But there's two here. Majisk's MP9 wants to be baited into this situation. Nate goes down under the stairs. 53 oh. seconds. They're all coming to B. They're all coming back. There's a full arsenal of utility to execute into this bomb site. Zaiwu ready. Swings down to Liege, has it. Second man in the same spot, but that's gonna be Molotov. And flashed, Majisk, oh, that combo. He didn't know he was on, it doesn't matter. He finds two, Liege pulls it back and it's on to Spinks, MP9. As he sits well back in the smokes behind the AC unit, even goes further back than that because he has to wait and hope that Apex can get in position on the flank. He does have the low HP player of Liege in front of him, so that one's easy, but now OC has information. He's gonna back it off. There's a chance the gun can be swapped out Apex. Maybe he wants the maneuverability though of the MP9 because as he gets closer, okay, he does grab AK to spray into this. And OC's aware he has it now because he's heard the noise and he's got the shot, 10 five, what a pull. Well, if there's ever been a time, Jason. Yeah, well, you hope, we've mentioned a couple of times the conversation they had after the horrendous group stage that seemed to revitalize them coming into the playoffs to get them here to the grand finals. You better hope part of that conversation included how to play Vertigo. Didn't look like it too much in the first half. Let's see what they can do here. This Molotov to burn beneath Nitro's feet. And that is a lot of damage. Forces him back, forces him passive. Huge issue. They're gonna chase him down. Magus with two kills. Can't find the third, but he's done his job. He's done everything necessary. And the defense comes crumbling down. That Molly, oh God, that's so menacing. From the ground underneath. And I know there's been talk about that yeah. and it's legality, but it certainly is in the game and everyone knows about it. So fair play. Spinks will take out your kinder and the pistol goes the way of vitality. Yeah, that might just reignite the conversation, no pun intended, all over again. 11 to five, and that is gonna be extremely demoralizing if you're Team Liquid.
manages with 20 kills it, to lead the way for Vitality. It's not the first time something like that has existed. I'll liken it to 1.6 days of when you used to be able to boost in the bottom side of Nuke and defuse the bomb upstairs. Oh, there, I mean, there's plenty of Molotovs even, even on this map alone. There was the one that could be thrown in towards middle that bled down beneath the floor. But uh, yeah, that conversation is always going to happen. Second round by for Team Liquid. The Flamasco is one for one. Gets him a little bit of extra chip damage onto Sphinx, onto Zaiwu. And Vitality's gonna go quiet, readjust on the map. Back to the B bomb site. Naf is here. Smoke and Deagle. But he's the only one. He's the only one even close. Naf did absolutely ridiculous shots. A little bit of a fake from Dupree as well towards the A bomb site has kept three defenders here. This is this is being set up absolutely perfectly for Vitality. I am super impressed with the calling and the game plan from Vitality throughout this grand finals. And both have had their moments in that as well, but. Yeah, this is going to be a tall, tall order now for Liquid as they're going to give up a 12th round here potentially and not even considering it as the bomb will go down on B. Let's look for anything they can pick up from corpses. And save the head armor that exists on three players right now, the Mac 10 for OC. Take what you can get at this point. So, round 17 is going to come to a close, 12 to 5 seven round lead for Vitality. And a long time from a championship from the core of the Astralis players as well. Yes. I know, I know you touched on the fact that it's been since 2019 when they were the Grand Slam winners, when they were top of the world Team Liquid, that they have lifted a trophy, but Vitality, they've gone dry as well. Been a long time since they've seen success. I think it was 2019 when the Astralis players last lifted their their trophy. Bahrain as well. This is yeah, that's right. If you go to the Astralis side, that's yeah. right. Not even just the Vitality. If you take the combination, and obviously 2020 changed a lot of things, but you, still. Even just go back to Blast Lisbon earlier this year, where where Vitality was like it was the first time those players had been on a playoff stage in front of a crowd in in years. Like that that was the conversation for them then was just like thank God we finally get this feeling again, this vibe back. So. This championship means a lot to both of these teams, and at the moment, Vitality might just run away and take it. Liquid need to come alive, and they're in that weird situation where it almost doesn't feel like it's going to be likely, but I think you're just going to want to buy no matter what for Team Liquid. It's the opportunity for Elise to open it up with the FAMAS. It'll be picked up by Ekender to try and follow it. OC aggressive finds two. Deagle for him, Dupree's low, if he swings and spots him in the corner, but his teammates come to his aid first, and Sphinx wins out the duel. Yeah, look how desperate they are to find that kill. They knew they had him trapped, they knew they had him at a low HP, and OC's trying to clean him off real quick. Nitro's gonna be at B, Yakinder at A, but there's a minute again to play with for Vitality, so nothing's gonna be comfortable. Kinder with the rifle, Nitro only with the CZ. They're gonna push through the smoke. Oh my goodness, they give you Kinder the chance, and Dupree's so low, he spots him and backs off, goes for more, and Liquid pull out around 12-6. They needed it, they needed some kind of Herculean individual effort. OC provided a little bit of it with a double kill on the MAC-10, clearing out scaffolding, but it's the Kinder with the triple kill with that little nasty off angle. Six rounds back, but at least they've got cash, at least they've got weapons, and if you're Liquid right now, you're just saying, all right, let's get started. This is where it begins. Let's have a solid round. They've got the AWP in OC's hands. Let's see what kind of change-ups they can make to try and claw this back. Aggressive, though. Pace is going to change. Forget utility. They want to get down before it. OC didn't. Oh, he did. The gun sticks through the smoke. He gets the shot back to it. And it's not going to work out the way that they wanted it to for Zywu. Yekinder's inside. They're going to spot each other out. And Yekinder gets two. A massive start for Liquid. That's huge. That's a huge opening provided by OC. And obviously, Yekinder to follow up is magnificent. That's exactly what you need if you're Team Liquid. Right when you get money in your hands, right when you win a round, get one clean. Make yourself feel comfortable. Five on two, OC's gonna make it a five on one and it's just Sphinx left. He's gotta pick up the AK-47 off the body. Not a whole lot for him to do, no utility. He does find you Kinder, at least one kill goes his way. Let's see what else Sphinx can find. Limit some of that economy and it's nothing. OC from behind, he's gonna get a triple kill in the round. Solidly done, pretty straightforward collection of kills, and now the money's limited for Vitality. 12-8 isn't, again, too far gone, considering they lost the pistol on this half as well. 
They got back into it very quickly with that from Oss. I think this is a really important sequence for, for Osi, especially uh, going back to some of those CT sides in the group stage. He never really seemed like he felt comfortable opping down a ramp. It seemed like whether it's miscoordination, miscommunication with teammates, and maybe a bit of disorganization, like he just never felt like he was comfortable enough to go on streaks like that. So a good first round with the AWP for him. And he was the recipe back on Mirage when they made that comeback from 4 to 11. Apex again doing one of his typical timeouts. Just waiting it back at spawn, giving everyone a word. Kendra's gonna go hunting, finds Zaiwu, tags him down to 45 on the inside of the box. So this round, Vitality. Not so much talking and focusing on it. They'll do what they can, obviously, but this is very much prep for the next few rounds as Apex has the Deagle. See if he can hit a stunner, because he'd have to at this point. We have passed the seven hour mark of this grand final series. Love it. A long, long time to be playing Counter-Strike. And to give an indication on that, I'll, I'll come back to it in a second. This should be pretty straightforward against the pistols for NAF, but the Deagle is there, you gotta be careful. First one, second one, follow it up as he rotates around the pillar. Keep in mind, there are 32 teams here this week for the RMR. We just went through a five, nice shot, Sphinx. We just went through a five week process of getting through Pro League. There is a lot of crew that has been a long away from their family the whole time. There's been a huge team putting this on. And tonight, as soon as this finals is over, they've got to strip everything down and rebuild the entire tent to accommodate everyone that's playing in the RMR. So shout out to those guys because they've had to wait for this series and they've already, they've already burnt the midnight oil for five weeks. A lot that goes into these events that people don't think about in that regard too, Jason. We're in the 5 a.m. oil. 12 to 8, full round lead for Vitality. Doesn't quite feel like it's switched in yet, this comeback from Team Liquid, but... At made in these situations when you get this long into a series. This time it's not any kind of fast pace towards a ramp. Liquid get a hold onto a little bit of utility as they don't hear the footsteps. Here's the change. Towards middle we go. Nitro is going to be the point of contact, although Elise has slid into mid as well. He's going to get aggressive. All this is dangerous. Flashbang. Good shot out. Spanks starts it off. Dupree tagged and all of that, Majisk as well. So there is some consolation for Liquid. They try and go for the nade to even close that out, Jason, but they can't quite catch it. No, Osi. He this wants is, information. This is risky. Okay, he's not gonna. I was gonna say if he if he's bold enough to go forward, but I think with the op, it's so unwieldy to clear all the other corners. But he could have a huge benefit. He's able to close the gap now. He has allowed Yakindor to rotate over. They're gonna boost a player up. The question is, does Nitro shift back towards A? No, because OC's deep, so he's gonna play. He's gonna play supportive between Yakindor and Naf. He doesn't have any support flashbangs to help Naf out. Just the smoke. Holding onto it for a long time, though. It's gone out now. 30 seconds. That's going to give him about 20. Naf, he was spotted, but he steps in behind. Good find from Sphinx. Naf, though, strikes while the iron's hot and takes the ball down inside the smoke. That's going to give Yakender a chance at this. Oh, my goodness. He could go right through. He could swing behind. He could flank them with a bit of utility. But it's him versus four. Oh, no. He's whiffed on the shots, and that's given way too much information away. Zywoo's pulled it back. It's 13 to 8. Yeah, great flashbang for Vitality. Great pop flash to come right through that smoke. And Naf could have used a flashbang from a teammate as well. Yeah. Wipe the sweat off your brow, because that was a little bit tense. Very tense. And it's three rounds for Vitality. And Vitality doesn't respect that smoke at all. They're already up when it gets deployed. Sphinx coming right through it. Look how blind Nitro is. He has no chance. Nap not able to get anything more than one. Good spacing for Vitality. Dupree even finds the flank on OC. We didn't see that in the action in the chaos of the hit. Speaking of chaos, we're right back into a hit again on this one. Nitro's going to push stairs. Majisk is considering it with that deep smoke already in play. And any, any idea, any hope of a comeback for Team Liquid could oh, come yeah. crashing down if they lose this. Their money is not pretty. It's not good. Didn't bounce right. It tried to close the back side of the stairs, so he has to manually check the corner. Nitro stuck here, though. Good damage. Hits Zywoo in the head and gets a bullet into Dupree. That'll help M4s in this situation. It's Naf again. He's going to push up behind double. They got to be careful. It looks like they're boosting up. But once again, information down A ramp for Team Liquid. You kinder this time, not OC. 
who's going to start shifting back towards middle with the off. That'll allow Liege to dedicate himself more fully to the A-bomb site. Kinder. Double kill could be on the cards. Apex comes swinging. Important trade. Three on three. And that should park OC back at the A-bomb site. He can no longer keep eyes on middle. And this will be 14 if they can pull this off and the money gone. So you might be facing overtime at the very most for Liquid by the time they have money again. This is a massive round. Actually, Huge trade from Apex. They could have a read. They're ignoring the A-bomb site entirely. I don't, I don't know if they're just saying if they go A, we save. But OC hasn't even budged to watch middle. Alige and Naf. Both set up. Now there's three Molotovs. One's coming in Naf's position. He does have a, he does have a smoke to put it out as well. Lee's gonna counter with an incendiary of his own. Now they know he's there. Pushing forward. Blinded up. Good flash from OC. He comes in and Naf's able to collect two. Sphinx is stuck on top of the stairs. Fires back. But a futile attempt at this point with 13 seconds. He's gonna bail. There are those, those are the support flashes he didn't have in the previous round. Those are the ones that Nitro didn't have to toss out for him. That is beautiful work from OC to stay lined up and ready to go. Nice defense from Team Liquid. They survive a tense scare. 13 to 9. Four of the last five going in the favor of Team Liquid. Start was brilliant. I would be able to trade that off, and the trades were successful. You even said this could have been a double. As soon as it wasn't, that thins the defense so much. But you're right, Liquid not well, budging. It should, yeah, it should have thinned the defense. But that was that's the boldness of OC and Liquid to just say, nope, we're gonna we're gonna count on this being B hit. We have the feel, we have the read. Stay parked in middle. Stay prepared to take a shot in middle. If they execute A, you've got the flashbangs, and he gets two flash assists. So low AK for Sphinx. This is an important round for Liquid to make sure they don't give anything away, that they don't let the economy get degraded too much by this rifle. Nitro up on top of the window position. Good find from OC. He's going to spot one. They can easily ooh, counter off that. Hang on. Space. This is exactly what we were talking about. It doesn't get too much into Nitro. Nitro doesn't re-peak on that smartly, and a good nade will chunk Magisk down to 25. Once again, uh, there's, there's good information. No one's pushed down a ramp just yet, but Elysia is spotting very, very deep with a jump behind the sandbags just to make sure he has the timing of when they're going to come. Smoke to delay as well on top of everything else. Plenty of utility for Liquid to work with down the stretch. Deagle on Magisk. Just a Glock on Zaiwu. Not able to recover anything, but Nitro's parked in middle to make sure they can recover the AWP when all is said and done. goes passive this time after three rounds of being caught out toward quad with limited success two rounds ago as you mentioned without the utility this time it's solo but you know, clear that position to no avail does give them a bit more stance and a bit more information to push forward now shoulder checking because he's expecting flashes to come through and nitro will throw one encounter and that'll come over as soon as Naf calls for it. it. Needs to come over, but it hasn't yet. Now it will, but it might be too late because already pushed up. Oh, he got the read. Got the trade at least, but Naf goes down. It's your Kinder that's going to step up. It's all a magisk. No bomb plant on this, crucially. 15 HP, and Liquid might find double digits oh, no. to go 13 10. That's a lovely headshot. Wants another one, but Kinder's not going to let that happen. <laughs> oh, they don't save the op as well. The op was dropped back in middle. None of them go grab it. They prioritize the AK 47s. OC's got the money to buy it back up again. Liquid now within three, playing retake, not even caring if the bomb gets planted. They know a bu the buy is coming out regardless. Great shot from Magisk, no head armor on Nitro. Glock doing some work down the stretch. And another timeout taken again from Vitality. Not allowed to quit in this one. This time Vitality is going to go back to fast pace towards A. They kind of cooled off. They got shut down a couple of times, wanted to give it some breathing room. Come back to it later on in the half. And they're stalled out by utility. This time, Team Liquid has a full set of nades to slow down anything fast. And they're not able to find anyone spraying down toward the bottom of ramp. It's Zaiwu that backs away from that. No op for him. So OC might have an advantage of trying to hold off that position, but again, he plays slightly passive. Waits for the utility to be deposed and deployed first. Now he'll wait to hold for where it they might walk into this, but how do they do it with a flash? With a smoke? Fire into it? Does he guess? He doesn't want to give away his position, so he'll back off slowly for now. A lot of Molotovs they can use to clear out sandbags. The Kinder's there, but Liquid's setting up a trap. They're gonna try to. The problem is they don't have anyone toward lane, and if they get caught off... It does pull them toward Yekinder. That'll give them a chance to get toward Scaffold. Yekinder wants to shuffle that direction, knowing that they can still make it to that position. Elige, though, does get Magist despite the loss. 
And it's all on Nitro. He's so close, but yet doesn't know the timing, doesn't know when to go. He's about to get that confirmation from his teammates now because they're off the ramp. They're toward the top. They are around the corner, and Nitro is going to get in behind them. They just need to withstand the front sight pressure, and OC knows that. So he's gone very passive. He's found the first kill as well. They're looking backwards, but not down. They're looking up toward the yellow lane instead, and it's Nitro with two dead. It's going to be 13-11. That was looking so sketchy for Team Liquid. They did not pull off a clean execution on the trap, but it worked anyways. A great all fagel from Yakinder. Shout out to the fans as well. You can see him on the camera, obviously wiping some sleepies from his eyes. Twists in the back corner there as well, watching his old teammates. Haven't won a trophy since he was part of this lineup. 13-11. to 11. That was not the cleanest retake at that A ramp, but they still pull it off. Good kills from Nitro on the flank. Two frags, 147 ADR. Play on, round 25. Vitality back down to a low economy buy. Scout, Deagles and armor. An interesting call for you, Kinder. MP9, all things considered, despite rounds being one, and he gives it away. Zai Wu just absolutely destroys him with the Deagles. Start for Vitality. I like this. And Lee's gone as well. Magisk hits one just as good. Five on three. Nitro's rotated over. They have to be a little bit aggressive. OC's taking a big risk. Can he get away in time? He misses the shot, drops down as well, but thankfully he's still alive. Yeah, that's a huge risk. I get what he's going for. He wants to try and shut them down early, but man, oh man. Self flash to re engage. No one's come around the corner just yet. And there is an AK that's ready. Nitro holding off on the lane. There's so much time. Keep your eye on the minimap. Keep an eye on when Sphinx is going to make his play. That's a critical piece of information because he can actually push forward and maybe clear out the B bomb set because I think Naf is going to be really tempted, yeah, to cheat over towards this B bomb site to bolster the defense. So Sphinx can either provide an opening to the B bomb site or he can have a real nasty flank. You're pretty close. This is an angle that he could potentially find a headshot from. Bates out shots. Nitro follows up for the double. That's you're Spinks absolutely moved. right. They're gone. Sphinx is pushing forward and he wants to cut off rotations. He goes straight through CT spawn. And this is massive. This deagle is the game potentially for Vitality. The round certainly in his hands. Two will go by on the short side. He's gonna pop out and find Naf. They have to turn back. Oshi's on an AWP. This is a battle. This is a straight contest. He's missed shots, has to reload. Oshi gets it back with a USP, but it's still a two on two. And the bomb has been planted on top of all of this. Zaiwu sits behind double stack. He has to be perfect on his peak. Apex has already spotted that they're getting closer. Molotov's not going to spread. MP9 finds it. Vitality getting closer and closer. They're going to find OC as well. What a round to pull it back. 14-11. And who better than Zaiwu to start it and close it down. He had the one dig on Yakinder trying to make a play down scaffold and two great SMG kills down the stretch. But it's Sphinx who activates everything. It's Sphinx who makes the move in middle to tell them, hey, go back to B. I have control. One one more really stressful round. One more critical round for Team Liquid if they want to continue the comeback. Elysian behind the bags early. Throws the incendiary down, doesn't want any further advancement, but this AWP, they've not been faced with this this often in this half. You'd expect this as a staple of Vitality's play, but suddenly it's a curveball. Well, it's also, the, the, the Liquid's been a little bit peaky here, so Zywoo's like, please do it again. Please come on. Take the fights we know you like. Deep smoke bounces off the box. They know he's at the sandbags now. Counter Molotov to make sure you Kender can't get aggressive. That might be a direct read on how they know he likes to play on that safe side. Running out of nades as well, Team Liquid. They've got no kits. That's a huge point. They do have three smokes. You Kinder trying to find a timing for this. But he's got careful with those jiggle peaks. Narrowly gets away. Get yeah, a look at this in mid. All of that action at A is just buying time and space. Making noise on both sides, though. Sphinx is going to back it off. OC wants to go for it. He'll go down. Trade has to come in. It does. Elise nails it, but he loses a little bit of HP in the process. Inconsequential when you're against AKs and AWPs. We'll see if it comes back to haunt him or not. But just could. He comes back and absolutely haunts him, but it's the headshot, no less. Oh, well, Nitro, big job to do. You got to cover middle. Naf's got to get aggressive. He finds the one jumping. Now they know his position. Zaiwu behind that smoke, and Dupree finds it. Jumping over the boards, all on Nitro. Big save on him to find Zaiwu. Does it efficiently as well, but they still haven't dealt with middle. Apex comes back over the top, and it's going to be a two-on-one. Yakinder nowhere nearby. Bomb's going to go down, and you mentioned it. No kits. He'll nade in early. Oh, big nade as well. Takes Apex down to 51. Looks for the spray, but not going to happen. It's Dupree that's going to put the championship point on the line. Yeah, and that just... This might be the last one. That might be the breath finally knocked out of Team Liquid. They've been 
battling back this whole series, but I don't know what you're supposed to do now. What do you, and how do you handle that if you're Liquid? Look at all the bodies. Sphinx is in middle, goes down, gets traded. Mage just comes up next, finds a leash, gets traded. Then Apex comes. Three players, one by one, different timings, all attacking middle, and there is no way for Liquid to read that. And Vitality have the whole playbook open to them. They're just gonna walk. They know it's low economy. Magus is gonna challenge. Oh dear, oh dear, Nap with two. Two may not even be enough. You don't have the guns to sustain this. You still have to get the positions on this. Bomb's gonna get thrown backwards. Apex knows he can't afford to drop that in the site. Zywu is on the hunt. He wants to open the map back up, and he's gotten you, Kinder. Three on three, and the advantage falls back to Vitality's side. Close as they are. Bomb's still down below. They'll let that be picked up as their teammates rotate over, but Liquid's trying to do the same. Up close. They didn't read it. They didn't read it, but a double peak. Sphinx and Apex find it. It's all down to a liege. Look at the HP though. He can do this. One shot on everyone. This is a doable 1v3. Utility is going to be the crypt kryptonite of his positioning though because he has to get forced off and go back toward the window. Molotov down there, smoke inside. Apex, the angle, the headshot, doesn't see it. And you're right, he finds the first, but he falls to within one bullet as well. Bomb is planted. What a clutch this would be for the elite Elise. He's got an AK now to work with. That'll boost his chances ever so slightly, but they are going to be so disciplined. They are not going to peek unless it's in tandem. And they go. It's Zywu. 